Hi, my name is Justin Conway. I'm a Microsoft Excel expert, and I'm going to show you how to create OJive charts in Microsoft Excel. Um, so I've already set up the data in an Excel sheet, and we're going to work off of this data. Let's say that you have uh, this area here that's selected salary range and frequency. What we want to do first is um, copy and move this data to a new section so that it's just the upper class limits. Uh, for here, it's uh, upper salary, so that would be 10,000 from this uh, cell, 20,000 from this cell, etc. as you can see. Um, and make sure that you insert a row at the top with just zeros in it. We want to make sure that there are zeros uh, before the upper class limit and the cumulative frequency. Uh, the next column is the cumulative frequency that we'll speak about. And we're going to take the frequency from here, put it over to, uh, to this column, and then as you can see, the next the next cell under uh, this one, which is uh, copied from B2, is a uh, is adding the um, the first cell and the second cell together. So 10 plus 20 equals 30. That's the cumulative frequency to that point. You do you do that again below and all the way down the list. So now our cumulative frequency at the bottom is 140. We're now going to select the entire uh, data set that we want to turn into a chart and go into um, our charts area, uh, the chart ribbon at the top, select scatter, and again select straight marked scatter. This is going to give you a chart that has markers and scatters the numbers across the chart. That's how to create an OJIF in Microsoft Excel. I'm Justin Conway, hope you enjoyed, thanks.